Peter here from company Webeka. We do professional websites. Today we'll be doing a blog installation. We are working on a website right now and we have created this uh, blog module. In this tutorial we're going to install um, this blog module. You'll see how we installed it on this specific website and how you can have a very similar module for your website as well. Let's have a look at how it functions. So we have latest news. These are the latest blogs. They get populated here automatically. When we click on a specific news, we get to the internal page that will have, can have images, but in this specific uh, case, we just have uh, Latin uh, filler text. When we go back home, we have this button here uh, for more articles with, with their blog. So that this brings person to the blog's homepage. You can also add it to the navigation menu the top right and here we can see that we have separated blogs into categories digital products will contain all of the blog posts that are associated with digital products drones will have other items and so on and so forth let's have a look at the backend administration for this blog so we're basically using the same native uh, blog uh, functionality that comes with wordpress if we navigate over to the blogs uh, to the posts then we can see that we have a couple of articles already here so we're going to just quickly add new one um, add new so let's uh, title this uh, satellite technologies and uh, for excerpt uh, we can actually write um, some latin text here just as a filler now excerpt is the information that you pretty much see when you uh, see a short description for this specific article so that's what we'll have here now we have a couple of options here uh, this uh, blog module is very versatile it allows us to have no link for example if uh, you want a blog post on um, home page or internal page uh, that will be just an announcement that doesn't have to link to anything or anywhere so that will be something um, that doesn't have any links so just an announcement option you can have a new post so this is your uh, typical regular blog post that actually has internal uh, content an article that you would write um, so on and so forth and you can actually add some images here as well if you want to um, let's just add the picture um, and we can lay it to the right side <clears throat> another option here is to have internal page uh, what internal page is let's say you want uh, to it's an announcement announcement post and you want to link it to a registration page within your website maybe you have a landing page so you can select from uh, internal pages of your website uh, where you want to link it and external website uh, if it's something that if there is an event that's happening on a different platform and you need to link it to a different website that's external to um, to your site and you can link it here what external um, link does is that basically uh, you have a blog post and when you click on it it will basically launch you that specific website let's give it a shot here uh, let's go to google going to hit update and let's have a look at our website um, one second so here we have um, satellite technologies and as I mentioned uh, before that we uh, will link it to Google so it launches Google uh, for us in a in a new tab you can see that we don't have an image here so let's quickly add an image I'm going to click add image and I'm going to upload the file I've created a satellite image here. Now that was the front size. Let's open this one, select, update. And there you go. So we have a satellite image here. But usually we don't really link it to external websites. Um, that happens on a rare occasion. Uh, we usually we do a um, new post. If you remember that we added some text um, to it, and we added an image over here add medium um, i think we add this one let's just use this image 
and to the left and we're going to click update so now this same blog will launch an actual article so if we click on it you can see that we have an article here and you can also see that we have uh, this breadcrumbs that are going to play um, it is uncategorized so let's give it some category let's um, save it as um, actually let's create a new category add a new category um, satellite so we added the category satellite and we can actually have it in multiple categories we, i'm going to actually include it inside the digital products as well so I'm going to click update and you'll see that satellite doesn't have an image yet because it's a new category so whenever we click on the blog right now you'll see that satellite comes up empty um, inside digital products we have our our item here and inside satellite we'll have the same article as well now how do we add images to uh, the blog uh, for the satellite to make sure that we actually have images so we go to categories on the left side over here and we're going to go to this uh, satellite category and here we can actually just quickly and easily add an image um, let's just add the same image uh, why not I'm going to click update and now that we refresh the page this uh, category will have a satellite here so that's pretty much how you work with this uh, blog module it's very um, intuitive I would think and uh, you can fairly quickly uh, add a lot of articles and organize your content it's very user-friendly so it's very good for your clients if they want to uh, moderate their own content so this section uh, concludes uh, an introductory section of how we uh, work with this module uh, the next uh, part of this video will be a lot longer uh, we're going to be looking into how to install this uh, um, this module for a new website now uh, this uh, next video will be linked uh, up at the very top you'll see uh, a link come up and also add a link uh, in the YouTube um, within the description that will take you to the next part of that video where we are actually going to dive deep into uh, the installation of this module thanks for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the second part of this video